I'll be talking to you about which classes you should be taking your senior year of high school. Now, senior year may be really stressful to some because they don't know what classes to take and they want to make sure that they take all the required classes to make sure they get enough credits to graduate. But with these tips I'm going to be talking to you about in just a bit about which classes you should take, you will all be on set and on track to be picking up the right classes for you and to make sure that you get into the college of your choice. And now the first tip that I would recommend to students is to make sure that you take as many college classes as you can. Now, if your high school offers college classes, you should definitely take them because besides from getting the kind of college experience by taking the class, you also kind of save money in a way because once you get the college credit from that class, then when you go to apply for college, then you're able to take out any of those classes that you already took in high school and then you're saving money and then you're also allowing room to take other classes that you want to take to get an extra step towards your degree of your choice. Now the kind of second step that I have, the kind of second tip that I have is to take AP courses. Now AP courses may seem like a lot of work and very stressful but in the long run they will really help you out. Um, they prepare you for college and then if you pass the exam then you get extra college um, credits towards that and then you get a weighted GPA. Now um, AP classes, I've already taken some in my junior year. I'm going to be taking some in my senior year. I feel like they helped me out a lot because they kind of are preparing me for college. So I definitely recommend to do that. Now another tip I have is to make sure you're taking all your required classes. Um, if some of you are in STEM, I know like I'm in STEM and then for my senior year I have to take an AP Math and an AP Science. Now I didn't know that until I talked to my guidance counselor. So if you're in STEM or any kind of um, extracurricular, if you're in anything that's kind of STEM related or something else, I would make sure to talk to your guidance counselor about what classes you need to take your senior year to make sure that you graduate with that along. Or if you don't want to, then you can make the adjustments to your schedule. Now, another tip that I have is to make sure that you're taking classes that you actually enjoy. A lot of people take just filler classes, like just because, like, they'll take like a little social studies filler class and then they'll be unhappy with it. There will be a ton of kids in there that aren't really, you know, want to do any work in that class and then you're just kind of miserable throughout the year. So I would look over the classes very carefully. Now, I like to draw and paint and stuff. And so I decided to take an art class. I decided to take drawing one and I'm very excited for that. So I would take kind of classes that relate to your hobbies that you'd like to do. So then you have a fun time doing it and you're not sitting there miserable. So that's all I have for you guys today. I hope that my tips helped you out in choosing your classes your senior year. And I hope that you guys have a great rest of your summer and a great school year. Bye.